messing up my girlfriend with the things that I say. I'm not a man of honor to behave in this way. I'm always telling now what I felt before. Now I give all my reasons from behind that door. I was a good night. Yeah. Big stop. Running around, the tiger dying in the circus cage. It's enough to make you scream out loud. The ship is shining like a real big star. The room is going around, the clouds are well beyond the bottom line. You see, from danger standing from this far, the ship is shining like a real big star. You saved the world, now you need it yesterday. I'd like to know if you act the same way. If the cost to you was hell to pay. You should be out in the fields. But it's easier to see that now, boy. Disillusions, I'll be younger. The ship is shining like a real big star. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Save the world. You need it yesterday. Like to know you act the same way. If the cost to you was hell to pay. So far, you should be shining like a real big star. Shining like a real big star. Shining like a real big star. We had no idea what to expect and what we got was, well, we couldn't have expected anything better. We're an assignment that's just done a cracking job and the atmosphere of meeting people like yourselves and the, the crowd and the setting. We, we love this neck of the woods as we said earlier. And yeah, very responsive. People didn't know us from Adam and we were made to feel like we were playing in our back garden, except my neighbours don't like me. <laughs> Do you have any more gigs or festivals lined up? Uh, well, we've just come back off uh, a tour of the country with uh, Johnny Monaco and the Traitors. And the, I, I'm actually, I've got a solo gig in Switzerland in two weeks' time. Because uh, I co-reside there, uh, and my wife is Swiss, uh, Roy Manuela, uh, and, and then... Yeah, sorry ladies, he's married. He doesn't have a ring on his finger, but uh, I've, got, I've got a tattoo instead. I think, I think, I think the, anyone watching this will be more surprised that I'm actually into women. But, um, <laughs> but no, Magic Rainfall, we're next stop. We're next stop this way actually in October. We're playing at the Diamond in Sutton and Ashfield. Uh, so we've got that. Sort of Let's try and get somewhere a bit more local. We have a, we have a little tour in, in October. Yeah, we, we, we absolutely. Um, love getting in the car and going to places that are new. And this isn't my first time in Warwickshire because, as I said, I, I ran the Shakespeare Marathon uh, a few years ago and did Touch um, FM did a session there in Connolly last year. That, that's how it's so slim, by the way. Isn't it? A, lot of hard, a lot of hard work went into that six pack. Yes. A lot of rock. <laughs> Yeah, these feathers are covering up the pecs, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, I always wear strokeable clothes because I've, I've found that even if someone is doesn't find you attractive, they just go, it's a really nice tattoo. I had <laughs> velvet trousers once. It's brilliant. Yeah. And, and did it have the same effect? Yeah. It's like, it's like your thigh, like, uh, I'm in there. I went one, I went one beyond it. I, 
I met um, a very lovely lesbian girl last year and she was stroking my coat and I said oh if that's what you're going to do and I placed the coat in a, another region of my body and I forced her to stroke it and good sport she did actually that was before I got married so what's, what's it actually like performing on a set like this? Well, last summer Magic 8 Ball did a, a gig in Guernsey and um, we were right by the sea and it was outdoor and the sound would come out of the stage and it get blown away so we couldn't hear a thing and I was It so messed his hair up completely as well and that's when I had hair and today I was really worried that that would happen but the sound guys, without a sound check or a line check for us, without even a line check, nailed it. So really happy and really, really satisfied with how we sounded on stage. Whether we sounded as good up front, I don't know, but we had fun. And, and the, the weather's held out as well. Yeah, it's got, it got a little bit of sunshine. So, uh... so what are the most outrageous outfits you've ever worn on stage? Actually, what we didn't wear. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Some, sometimes I don't like to wear much. I perform in my underpants yeah. and a jacket. Yeah, I think I think it turns them on, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like it, but I, I've got to think about my audience. You know? If they want physical attraction, I provide that. And the other guys are here, so I'm well. Yeah, to be basically moral support to my to my beauty and my, my charm. But no, it's I, I think I, the, the sort of front men I love, the Freddie Mercury's, the Steven Tyler's, they're very much um, peacocks. Hence the name of our uh, first CD, A Peacock's Tale, is a reference to uh, the, the that, that trait of the lead singer to be um, a vibrant character. And you get some who are more about the character than the actual music and obviously the aforementioned Freddie Mercury and Steven Tyler have talent in abundance yeah. and they can wear something outrageous and, and, and justify the mix and, and that's what I aspire to, whether I achieve it I don't know but I aspire to being as musically good as I am uh, Today. Today. Enjoy the rest of the download festival. Thank you.